dear students i welcome all of you in the another session of traffic engineering and management so you all know that we have learnt numerous topics up till now now you if you remember i had told you that there are various kind of surveys that have been conducted in order to get the accurate details for the planning of road network in the context of traffic engineering the surveys which were decided were like vsf opac v stands for volume a stands for speed f stands for uh, stands for flow studies o stands for origin and destination studies p stands for parking studies a stands for accident studies vsf opac and c stands for traffic capacity studies so out of all these things the major important things such as speed studies and volume studies have been already covered you have learned that how to calculate the traffic volume what are the automatic traffic volume counting methods what are the manual methods what are the various kind of speeds and how it can be measured you have learned all the things now one of the most important topics as far as traffic engineering transportation engineering is concerned is called as origin and destination studies so let us begin the session let me remind you once again that here we are discussing about the module number 2 second module and the name of the module is basic traffic flow parameters and traffic surveys so what we are going to cover in this session is we are going to discuss about origin and destination studies see this origin and destination studies is mainly carried out let me tell you once again that this origin and destination studies are mainly carried out this is the purpose see to know the origin and destination of the various vehicles to collect the data such as number of vehicles their origin their destination then how many passengers are traveling in the particular vehicle and which is it being surveyed which kind of route is being preferred by the passengers all this data is to be collected for the purpose of origin destination studies so let me tell you the bookish things and i will explain the original uh, the realistic field related things what are the uses so it can be useful to judge the adequacy of the route to establish the preferential routes for the various vehicles to locate the new roads locate new terminals and terminal facilities locate expressways then if any kind of heavy vehicle movement is there then to regulate the heavy vehicle movement and locate new bridges let us make it very easy see the name of the survey is this origin and destination survey right means what we are going to analyze is that how many vehicle let us say that this is the point a this is the point b and this is the point c let me change its color so that it can be c what we will try to understand with the help of this study is is that how many vehicles the vehicles whose origin are a how many vehicles will choose c as their destination and how many vehicles will divert towards the b so with the help of this thing we will have the idea that out of this two routes route number 1 and route number 2 which route is being utilized oftenly by people nowadays so the route which is utilized uh, let us assume that the route a is being utilized number of times so what does it indicates it indicates that the route a is having more importance than route b so whenever any kind of planning measures are to be implemented out of these two routes the route number 1 is to be selected as the priority that means it will be the adequate route it will be the preferential route 
the new rows can have its alignment from this particular root number 1 we can locate various terminals on root number a or root number 1 because it is being utilized more than any other roots we can provide our expressways towards this route we can also regulate the heavy vehicle movement by increasing and improving the facilities on this route we can also use this stretch to locate the new bridge so this is about the origin and destination study concept and uses that ODI study stands for origin and destination studies its uses involves judging the adequacy of routes, establishing preferential roads for various vehicles, locate new roads, new terminals, locate expressways, regulate heavy vehicle movement and locate new bridges as per the traffic. Now, there are various methods through which it can be implemented. Any of this method can be used if we want to conduct OD studies. The full form of OD is origin and destination. We can go for home interview survey or license plate survey or return postcard method or roadside interview survey or method or tag on car method. So basically there are five methods to conduct this origin and destination survey. Now let us learn each method one by one. First is the home interview method. As the name suggests, basically what we are going to do is we are going to interview the people by visiting their homes regarding their origin and destination of the travel. Let me repeat it once again. We are going to conduct the interview of people by visiting their home and by collecting the data of origin and destination of their respective place. In this method, a random sample of 0.5 to 10 percentage means if this is the particular area, see this is the area. These are the various kind of, see this is the area. Let me tell you that, see if this is my road that is going to we pass from this to this. See, this is the road. It is going in this direction. And these are the various kind of area. Now, what is being done in this method is, if the say this is the hatching area is total 100%, right? So random 0.5 to 10 percentage of the area, say someone will select this. See, someone will select this stretch, someone will select this stretch, this stretch. All these stretches randomly they will be selected and they should be between the range of 0 0.5 to 0. 10 percentage of the total population. It is selected. The residents means the people who are living in this particular area, the selected area, are visited by the trained person or interviewees who collect the interviewer, who collect the travel data from the each member of the home or household. Household means home. Now, which kind of data is being collected and why it is important to collect the data? This collected data will be useful for the road planning network and the planning of any kind of facilities on the road. Now, what kind of data we are going to ask by visiting their home is, we will ask that how many trips do you actually prefer to make in one month? Which is your preferable origin? and destination for the trip. Tell us about the purpose of the trip, that what, what made you choose this route to select in order to conduct the particular trip. By which mode, means either two vehicles, four-wheeler, 
फोर व्हीकल फोर व्हीलर व्हीकल कार रिक्शा विच मोड वॉज सिलेक्टेड बाय यू टू कंडक्ट दिस पर्टिक्युलर सर्वे सो दिस आर द डेटा दैट इज बीइंग कलेक्टेड व्हेन एवर दिस सर्वे इज बीइंग कंडक्टेड सो इट इज लाइक दिस पीपल विल गो दिस विल देयर विल बी अ फॉर्म लाइक दिस एंड दे विल आस्क द पीपल दैट ओके टेल मी द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ट्रिप्स टेल मी द टोटल पर्पस सो दिस इज हाउ इट गोस then comes the another method that is license plate method that is also called as registration plate method in this method the registration number of the vehicle means that gj1 v2501 that is let us say that is the that is the registration number so people will sit at the entrance or at the exit of the particular area and they will note down the registration plate number and at the end of the survey they will calculate that okay total this many vehicles have crossed separate separate recording sheets are maintained see now which separate sheets are being maintained sheets for this direction and sheets for this direction both the sheets will be different for the specified time interval and after collecting the data what will be done or what is remaining only the computation and analysis that okay this vehicle has crossed the entrance say this is the entrance this is the exit b and there is another exit c one road goes like this and one road goes like this so the person will note that okay there is x number of vehicle is entered over here now the person who is sitting over here will note that whether this person has crossed or not and then this data will be cross checked so this is how the license plate or registration plate method is being done in order to conduct the original destination study then comes the written postcard method in which the questionnaire is already being implemented in the particular postcard the postcard will be handed over to the drivers at the survey points and they all will be requested to fill and return it by post see this is not very accurate method because many of the times it may happen that people will not post the particular postcard and will not be able to get the reliable results then comes the roadside interview method there are two things roadside and interview so in this method interview stations are decided on the road then the vehicles are stopped at the particular side of the road by the group of person and they are asked the question with the help of questionnaire they will be asked about the place and time of origin the route the time of destination the purpose of the trip type of vehicle and number of passengers and how many vehicle passengers are being traveling in the particular vehicle now many of times it happens that whenever this method is being implemented the help of police is also being being taken police help because there may be chances of conflicts between the people who are taking the interview and the persons who are traveling they may not be interested in answer all the questions so police people police people will help to get us done this particular survey it is like this then comes the last method that is the tag on the car method in which the particular area is cordon vehicles are stopped so this is the entrance this is the exit this is the exit the car such as the car is moving over here the tag will be marked over here now if the car goes from this place to this place this person will remove the tag and he will note the entry if he goes from this place to this place this person will mark the particular tag so there will be the data that okay people have used this route or this route and that this amount of time has been taken so this is how it can be done so friends this was about the origin and destination studies in next session we will discuss about the presentation of origin and destination studies till then practice this session try to understand and make your own notes 
थैंक यू सो मच